So last weekend I decided to watch the final of the Genteki.net Open. Um, really interesting event, I did not realise it was a stream at the time, so I just kind of hopped in online when I saw the game up on Genteki. And one of the finalists is actually a subscriber, which is fantastic. Uh, obviously, I'm doing something right if uh, someone who makes it to a final actually watches that, or, you know, it's the, the entertainment angle that I've been going for as well, where you watch to see what not to do. Um, but this name might also be familiar. Uh, if it ever if it focuses, there we go. So, Karai is a subscriber, and Terrificei is someone I played during the week. So, small world. Small world. And look at all the, the who's who of Netrunner that I'm beside. What's up, everyone? It is Sunday, and for the first time in quite a while, I did manage to do a bulk of recording, and managed to get pretty good games, I think. Now, because it was a weekend and during the day, a lot less populated online, so I did go into the casual lobby for a couple. But my last one, which will be out Wednesday, which would have been out Wednesday, which was out Wednesday, hence it um, was a really good one in the competitive lobby. Um, up against the guy who won the Jinteki.net Open uh, tournament, the first one that was run, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how the games went. Hopefully you enjoyed them as well. Now the attention turns to push your luck, where I have to make up six decks, and it's hard, to, it's hard to know what to do with them, because on the one hand there's amazing prizes, on the other it's uh, being held in a pub, it's going to be just good times ahead by all, some weird wacky decks will be there, of course the last time I went down there was also super competitive decks, so I'm trying to find a balance of all of them. So we'll see, I have a couple of ideas, uh, part of me is swaying, you know, Will I put uh, boom in every deck? You know, click, click, boom. And on runner side, I have a couple of ideas as well. Maybe the Omar finding the truth. Maybe the Valencia blackmail spam with uh, the interfaces and Obelus. Uh, criminal, I have started developing a bird deck, bird breaker deck, which is why I encourage net decking as well as building your own, because why would you run those? And I don't know what else to run. Maybe maybe Adam had some fun with a deck a while ago. And yeah, we'll see. But obviously, I will do some testing over the week and see what I can do. And then I have to tackle the miscellaneous pile so that I can build all six decks and be able to transfer cards and things like that. That's not going to be fun. I have been sorting the collection for quite a while now. Got through all the corp cards that were out of packs. So I still have like six packs to actually put away. And I was going through, I thought I was pretty much there, and picked up a dot box and was like, what's in here? There's more cards. So maybe a push your luck, I will play controlling a message because it's already built and be booed the entire way back to Limerick and then probably all the way back to Dublin. It's probably not worth it. Um, but we're getting there and getting to go through and seeing old decks that I've built and kind of going, oh, that was kind of fun. That kind of worked. So maybe, maybe I'll break out some of the old, old school ones, update a little bit, obviously. This is the match that I'm going to bring. Uh, as you can see, Winter 2014 champion. I think I pointed this out before. Obviously, I didn't win it. I won it last year at Push Your Luck. So it makes a resurgence. Plus, it is pretty thematic. I mean, look at the explosions. So I think it's the perfect uh, match to bring down. Of course, speaking of push your luck prizes, I have to make sure that one of my decks at least has the signed NEPD that I won last year as well. Because obviously it was a coveted prize at the time, it's great the lads put it up, so I really need to use it. As for this year, there's another good haul of prizes. I'm hoping to come away with as few political operatives as possible, because I'm pretty sure I have my fill and then some of them already. But uh, it should be good, good fun. Guys coming down from the north, a lot of jank decks being brought. Uh, well, people say they're jank decks. They often turn out to be pretty pretty good. Um, I have struggled against you know, jank decks in the past, so I'm not going to underwrite, no, not going to write off anything. And yeah, it should be a bit of fun anyway. Looking forward to it. So even after all my sorting, this is the nightmare I ended up with. I have two very full binders. The corp one is definitely overfull if I need to put in any more HP decks or HP cards that just don't fit. Uh, a ton of unopened data packs, or opened but not used, uh, two world champion decks in there as well, and still have a lot of generic runner cards, 
uh, I think a couple of here are another data pack or two and the full control of the message deck. Plus, and things in here, I have my wizard deck. So, yeah, but uh, hopefully I can just take bits and pieces out of these. Uh, should be okay. Uh, this is the miscellaneous pile, but sorted by faction, so that's not too bad. Should be able to find what I need. And yeah, data pack there as well. So, uh, sad times, but we'll get there. Need to buy another binder or find another solution. Because this is not a permanent one, it seems. Uh, let me know what you use. I know the binders are a pretty popular one, but maybe I bought the wrong ones. Morning everyone, it is push your luck day. But before I get onto that, I want to touch on another subject. Um, as you know, I've been doing the satellite grid event calendar for a while. And I recently highlighted the alwaysberunning.net as well, which Ah, it's great to have that service there. It's great. It is a great website. It looks really good. But it's like, ah, oh, why? You know, if I'm just being honest about everything. Um, it, very different approaches. I take more of the admin role. Uh, he allows people to just post their own events. There's definitely merits in both. But as I said, like the satellite grid was a tester to see if I needed to pull in other people for their actual creative stuff, for the hard lifting, the heavy lifting. Uh, when it comes to web design, obviously they have the talents to do it themselves. And but things have gone well. It seems to be big in Japan on Twitter at least, and big in America, the website or the the blog itself. But you know, I'm tipping, tipping away on that, and all going well. You know, uh, Richard Hammond has been great uh, UK wise, uh, has as has Alex White. Uh, two of them are very very good for retweets and all of that. Um, but I was like, Laurie Poulter, he's the guy I need to get through to. I'm pretty sure I've messaged him on Facebook or like dropped it in there as a Hey, you do events? Let me know things. Um, but all of a sudden then it was like, he was uh, tweeting like, Oh, it'd be running, it was a great site. Oh, Laurie, what do I have to do? So I did send off one of those passive tweets of, uh, wonder what I have to do to get Laurie Poulter to uh, recognise this site. Uh, he did follow the Twitter, so we'll see if uh, I get any more information or details from him. But hey, there's plenty of... Um, deck builder resources out there so why not plenty of calendars too really looking forward to it still as disorganized as ever i am even at the point where i'm hoping that i brought enough sleeves for everything because yeah i'm just a whirlwind of chaos up there in dublin um need to get new sleeves need to get matte ones just to revisit an old tournament um i have played recent tournaments where i'm playing with these glossy screen glossy Where I'm playing with these glossy sleeves, and you know there, there are tournament rules about not not having markings on cards. But I think it's actually negatively impacted me that one or two will have picked up a scuff or something, and I've only seen it a bit late. Matches started, and I'm like looking at it, going, "Hmm, that's really not good." On corp side, uh, runner side, I'm not that clued in. I don't think. But on corp side, I don't know what the markings are. Don't know which, which cards are marked, but uh, I will say that in you know, someone runs HQ, and I shuffle them up and I put them out, I'm looking at one going, oh, oh dear. Sometimes, depending on the player, if they're one who is looking for a competitive advantage, they will pick that one, and then they will never have to pick it again. Because they know exactly what it is. So yes, I should do a better job of that, and making sure I have the right sleeves and all that, and checking them every so often. Make sure they're clear and clean. Uh, or just buy 50 new ones, I think. That is the best course of action. And try and get matte ones, because they should hopefully not pick up as many marks. Uh, but yeah, I don't have all the deck sleeved. I just have, we'll say, well, at the moment I have a handful of cards sleeved. But I'm going to just sleeve up two decks. I suppose I'll wait till I get down there, find out which one I'm playing first. Um, but there are two decks that are like the chosen ones, that they have the 45 and 49 cards. Um, they have all the copies of, we'll say, Hedge Fund boom, things like that, um, and then it's a matter of transferring between decks, going to have to print out deck lists now, and make sure that it's easier to uh, transfer between the lot. But uh, it should be fun, I'm going to definitely be recording over the day. But yeah, apologies again for a busy week, hopefully my time will free up a little bit, but uh, no promises. Uh, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and it's time to push my luck.